Hey everybody, I am back with another video. This is just going to be a little quickie five or six minute video about how I do my laundry. Um, I've been doing laundry this way and I found it on YouTube. I didn't make this up or anything. But I found this on YouTube, um, gosh, when I was with Noel and in the apartment for a year, we did, I did laundry this way for the whole year. And of course you can't you really do this with like big heavy jeans or your like your blankets or sheets or big heavy sweaters but this method of doing clothes you can do pretty much normal clothes socks underwear t-shirts um, maybe some like shorts or, or, or um, like not heavy pants so it's just two buckets so this buckets from Walmart um, got holes in the bottom quarter inch holes, some on the side. My other version I had um, from a couple years ago had holes all the way up, but I don't, I don't think I needed them, so I didn't put them in. And then you that's your inner bucket where your clothes go. And here's your outer bucket. So just a solid bucket that the water goes in, that the, the dirt will settle down here. So as you plunge your clothes, with the plunger, which I talk about more in the video, but as you plunge your clothes, the dirt separates from the clothing, and then it goes through these little holes, and it settles down in the bottom. And so as you plunge, you, you separate the dirt from your clothing. So I think that makes it superior than just a normal one bucket system, which I see a lot on YouTube. You don't, I don't really see a lot of people doing two buckets. Um, so I like it this way, and you just hang it up and let it dry in the breeze. And if you have a, a house, you can um, you can hang it up outside. But for us, we're in an apartment here. I don't live here, but spend probably four or five days a week here. So I do still sleep in my van. I still enjoy it, but um, I definitely enjoy my time with my Grace. All right, everybody, let's take a look at the whole process. So we mix it up a bit just to get everything wet. And just about a half a cup. Some nice clean detergent. that for about five minutes and there's your wash cycle. Alright everybody, so I plunged for five minutes. There it is. It's hard to tell how dirty it is. So this is just this is just a normal plunger from Walmart. Um, I, my last time I did this I had a one from Lowe's that was like eight dollars. It was really sturdy. But this one's working okay. See the holes in the side there? Those holes are needed so that when you plunge, it, there aren't air pockets and you actually shoot water into the clothes. It's hard to see if you can see it. But they actually, those jets will actually shoot the water and air into the clothing and that helps to do it as well. And we just want to put them around the edges don't put them near the top. If you do that, it'll spray upwards instead of just straight, spray outwards. And I just did that with a quarter inch drill bit. All right, let's see what this looks like. Let's see just how dirty Grace's clothes are. Oh, those look much cleaner than mine. Wanna come see? 
All right, let's dump this out. This is uh. Hey, don't I just hold that for you? Sure. So here it is. Let's see. What, let's see just how dirty. But how much dirt? That's the dirt that came out. That was of. all my clothes. That was just yours. My clothes look a lot worse. Oh, me. okay. Mine is like almost. Well, you wear your clothes for so much longer than I do. I know. So yours are like pretty clean. I have lots of clothes. You only have like. So we have just one bucket here, and then we have our one with a bunch of holes in it, bottom and sides. Anyway, okay. I'm a really bad camera person. <laughs> are you? Okay. All right. So the what time? Wait a minute. What time is it? It's laundry time. <laughs> laundry time with Vince. So one thing I can't do in here, if you were outside, let's say you have a yard, take this outside, and maybe you have more holes. So these are just quarter inch holes here, right? Maybe you have more holes. You hang this from a string, and you spin it on a rope from a tree or something, and then, then it will, it will be like the rent, the um, spin cycle. I have no place to spin in an apartment. So I can't spin it, but you can spin it. You just this. did spin it, though. And I'm getting water everywhere. Oh, well, that's not cool. <laughs> so we, we can, you, if you had a yard, you could spin cycle this a little bit. But really, all you're doing is you grab a piece of clothing at this point. Well, that's why all my shirts are so wrinkly. And you just... Because they're not getting the dryer to get the wrinkles out. Yep, and there you go. And then hang it up. Okay. And now you hang up your shirt. I'm and that's that. So I'm if you could to... spin it, then you have to ring a little less, but you still have to ring it eventually. Hang it outside. Oh, that's cute. Is that yours? That this is mine. Do you like it? Yeah, it probably looks that's really good perfect. on you. And then hang it up. And if you have outdoor, if you have a solar clothes dryer or a clothesline, if that's something they used to call it back in the old day, you can hang your stuff outside, right? And, right, um, correct. It works well. Gets rid of BO, gets rid of stains. I did it for a year before this. And I threw is it, it all more away. cost effective? I think so. We, what is it? It's $1.75 for a load of laundry downstairs. And this is about a third of a load, so you have to do three of these to equal one. It's more time consuming, though. Yeah. So it's more time consuming to do it this but way. But do you but think I it's better time. for clothes? I think so. It's less. You, like, you don't you want me to do these all the time because because the, these get caught up Those in the washing ruined. machine. Those get ruined, yes. They get ruined, and yes. so it, effect, it helps them. Definitely. And I just, I feel like. My and they're tight longer. enough on me that I don't I don't need them to be wrinkle free because they just get wrinkle free right. once I. And put honestly, them. like my I have my work shirts that I wear to work. They're a little wrinkly when they're almost dry. I just shake them out. Oh, okay. And then that takes the wrinkles out. Okay. I mean, what did we do before we had washing machines? Oh dear God, I don't know. I know. So anyway, here's the system. It's been I've, I've it's, used it for over a year in other places as well, and um, just some holes in a bucket on the bottom and the side. And a plunger with some holes in it. Should we never use that for? Don't use this for the toilet. I'm <laughs> just asking. For and, your good giant And boobs. for those of you who want the specific, you can go to Amazon.com and they sell a laundry plunger. It's hard plastic and it's specifically designed for doing this job. Or you can spend, instead of $20, spend 8 bucks and get a really good one from Lowe's or Home Depot. Drill some holes in it and there you go. Alright. Bye everybody. There we go.